I'm back! I thought it might be fun to uh, post another video. The holidays are coming up, so I wanted to show you guys my homemade entertainment dress up and vanity center. Let's start with the closet. Scott will put up a picture of the before of the whole entire cabinet and so then you'll get to see kind of how it transformed into what it is today. What I did is my daughter and I actually started in the closet and filled up all of the shelving holes with wood filler. Easy to do, fun project for the kids. I left a couple down here as you can see because I have the option of putting a shelf down here to hold shoes. Then I took the back off. I have replaced all the backs with solid wood because I wanted it to be flush. I didn't want any entertainment center holes in it, that sort of thing. And then I got to painting. It was literally that simple. I took the drawers out and I just started to paint. Okay, so once I filled the holes and I prepped and you know kind of sanded a little bit of the cabinet, I went ahead and went to Lowe's and got all of my supplies. I tried chalk paint on this cabinet, but for whatever reason, the wood that, that this was made out of, for it just didn't take. It just would not work. So I ditched that idea and I started um, just old school primer and paint. What I did is I put a semi-gloss on this. It's easy to wipe down and clean for kids and um, just painted painted and painted and painted and painted. It took a lot of coats because I have such a light color, but um, it turned out really cute. I think the pink is actually one of my favorite things. Then I got these little curtain holders. I don't know the technical term, sorry, but these curtain holders are actually, they were actually right near, right where the dowel is. So I just got that and you know, that was probably the hardest thing of this entire cabinet is to hang it straight. That was the hardest thing. Got that done and I celebrated for myself. Then um, I went ahead and bought the uh, pieces of wood for the backing back here and I cut them all down hi, to size and um, painted those, got those all ready. I did not attach them until the very last because I wanted to make sure that A, everything was painted and covered and B, it's just what I wanted it to look like before I sealed it all up. I wanted the vanity to be cute. I wanted it to have space. I wanted it to have a mirror and lights so they could actually play dress up and do some makeup and that sort of thing. So I just went on Amazon and bought a mirror that I like because I wanted a certain look for this project because it kind of matches my nieces. And I put some push button lights up at the top so you can push them off, turn them on, you can take them down, they're only Velcroed, um, to replace the batteries. Anyways, I put, I made them some jewelry boxes to sit on there. With the drawer, you can just put whatever you want to in the drawer, shoes, boas, whatever. Really easy to make. And I'm telling you, with a little bit of imagination, a little bit of time, for me, a lot of paint and just some love. You can make such a cute Christmas present or whatever kind of present, birthday, you know, whatever for someone that's personalized, made with love. I think that's what I like about the, these projects the best is that it's homemade. Anyways, I just hope that this inspires you guys to go out of your comfort zone and to try something if you've never done it. It's so much fun to learn and see what you can do um, with a little paint, a little imagination, and a saw. I think that this is what I love most about these projects is that you made it. It's from you, it's homemade by you. You have put everything personalized into these projects for these kids. And the excitement that you see when they open these and when they see them and they know that it was made for them and it's with their favorite colors and their favorite things, that is so rewarding when you see those children's faces when they when they just light up and are so excited for what you have made them. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope you liked the kitchen video before. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and watching the videos that Scott does and the few videos that I put on here as well. I hope to see you again soon with another project and I just want to say thank you Please like and subscribe and have a great holiday season. Thanks guys.